trying to climb a big wall project in the Alps, you're bound to face some big speed bumps. <laughs> oh man. It's cold, it's wet, trying to make the best of a grim situation right now by getting some climbing in. Coming to Switzerland, my heart was set on trying to hear plus, but given the circumstances of the weather, it's just not so possible right now. This is our fourth day in a row of rain. We are essentially posed, with a pun intended. <laughs> Classes start September 2nd, so that's our time frame. It's August 19th now. We need to get climbing. Danny Andrade from Spain advised us to go check out his unrepeated project in Sardinia, Italy. At least in Sardinia, it will be guaranteed warm and at this time of year, sunny. Our travel sequence was absolutely ridiculous. It's redundant use your car and you still get on a train while in your car. We had 17 bags, five trains, and an 11 hour boat ride to the boat. We arrived to palm trees and really hot, nice beach weather. We are finally in Sardinia. Glaciers to palm trees. We hike in and show up to the hardest climb that personally I've ever tried and almost nauseating. So it goes up and follows this bolt line. No chalk on it, no draws hanging, just some rusty old bolts. The climb is one of the hardest multi-pitches in the world and by far the hardest multi-pitch in Sardinia alone. It was much harder than our original objective and a completely different style than I had planned for. The first pitch is not easy at all. It's a hard 8B that's very much Danny Andrade style, which is conducive to big, long moves in between massive tufas where you're facing scary falls. For some reason, my mind kept going back to this sphere of, this is too hard for me, this is too hard for me. I'm scared to fall, I'm gonna hurt myself. Okay. It all feels so hard and above my level and out of my comfort zone. Tomorrow we'll try more, maybe spend less time hanging. We'll see if it's possible. Choosing a partner to climb a big wall project with is a really selective process. You're entrusting your life into someone's hands at really high elevation each time you go to climb but also trusting that our energy is going to be constantly optimistic and encouraging. Yes, come on. <laughs> There's no rest while trying a big wall project. It's hours consecutively on end of trying really hard and being in situations where you're not fully comfortable. But it's also one of the most rewarding feelings to be realizing this huge objective that you have is actually maybe possible. This summer has been really tough for me. My dad went from being perfectly healthy to passing away within two weeks. My dad is actually Italian, and so it feels really nice being in Italy, trying one of my dream goals here, and thinking about how proud he would be. Wow! 
Man, I fell at the last straw. It feels like a lot of progress to be getting so close. We're beach ready. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I feel good, man. I like. The best way to recuperate is by swimming in the med. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we're going back to the project. Go from the ground to the top. I feel confident in us doing it tomorrow. But I also know that it's not certain at all. At all. The weather was for the first time slightly cooler than it had been. I was nervous because I knew that we had a small window. We got an early start and we were like, game on, let's go. After six pitches, about to go to the last pitch. Last pitch. My dad always supported me whenever I sought out after any dream. He also taught me to believe in myself. He was a huge inspiration to me. Life is short and you have to live it to its fullest. <laughs> <laughs>